my friend waiting for me. He's waiting. He's waiting for me, and then I just asked him, please wait for. Uh, can you wait for me, a minute or a few minutes? Very yeah. good. So maybe say, for example, if your friend is waiting for, for you, me, yes. then you will say, could you? Could you? Wait, wait for me for a few minutes. Yes, for a few minutes. Very yeah. good. Could you wait for a few minutes, please? Oh, yeah, please. Very yeah. good. Now, how about if you are asking yes. for something? Mm -hmm. For something. Yes. About, a while ago, yes. we discussed asking somebody, somebody to do something for you. Yes. But how about asking for mm -hmm. something? What modal verbs can we use? Yes. Can, mm -hmm. could, and may. Can, could, or may. Yes. How about will and would? Can we use these model verbs? No. No. Yes. Very good. Now, could you please tell me mm -hmm. the sentence better? Yes, yeah, sentence better. If you are asking for something using can, could, and may. Yes. After that, I have to use I. After what? After can, could, and may, I. You have to use the pronoun I. Yes. Pronoun Only I. pronoun I? About asking for thing, mm -hmm. some things. Yes. Very good. Yeah. Because who is asking? Me. Very good. Yeah. Next. Enjoy school. Number three. Listen to your parents. Four. Argue with your fathers or sisters. Five. Wear a uniform to school. Six. Tell jokes. Seven. Be very curious. Eight. Think about your future. Very good. Okay. All right. Number one, like music. Like music. Two, enjoy school. Enjoy school. Three, listen to your parents. Listen to your parents. Four, argue with your brothers or sisters. Argue with your brothers or sisters. Five, wear a uniform to school. Wear a uniform to school. Six, tell jokes. Jokes. Seven, be very curious. Be very curious. Hey, think about your future. Think about your future. Okay, one, two, three. One, like music. Like music. Two, enjoy school. Enjoy school. Three, listen to your parents. Listen to your parents. Close your book. Number one. Like music. Number two. Enjoy school. Number three. Listen to your parents. Okay. Next is A. A. It's like saying the letter A of the alphabet. Okay. It's very simple. You say A. 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 <coughs> Late. Late. Bake. Say. Bake. So, very easy, right? This one is E. E. It's just <coughs> like a puff of sound from the throat. E. The yeah. throat is not even tense, right? But with this particular sound, eh, yeah. do you feel the sound coming from the throat and yes. not from the mouth itself? Strong yes. doesn't. Yes. So, eh, 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 eh. So, lad, lad, bat, bat, sell, sell, dan, 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 dan. Then. 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 Sell. 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 Bet. Bet. Bat. Bat. Lend. 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 Now, we will play a game. I'm going to tell you the sound. Or the letter, the word, then you would tell me which one, which number it represents. Okay. Example, if I say bit, what number is bit? Number two. Yes. Bait. Number three. Yes. Sell. Sell. Number four. Yes. Did you hear the L? 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 L. Number five, is it? Yes. Sell. Then, then, okay, how about how about you, Leo? What's the most exciting thing you've ever done? Heart pounding.
When I was young, I I went to the amusement park okay. with my parents. Um, at the time, I I played. Uh, I went on roller coaster. Okay. I went on a I roller went coaster. On a roller coaster. It was my first time uh -huh. in extreme sport. So I was I was shocked at the time because <laughs> because uh, uh, because it is horrible. Horrible? Yes. Horrible. <laughs> horrible. horrible. Yeah. Horrible sport. Um, Horrible sport. Yeah. How did you feel? Were you excited? Were you scared? Um, were you enthusiastic? Were you? Were you? Did you want to do it? I was, or were you just I was terrified? Scared. I'm terrified. Terrified. Yes, terrified. <laughs> okay, let me ask you this: Did you go again? No, never, <laughs> never. I knew it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Would you ever do anything like that again? Gyro drop. Gyro drop? Yes. Yeah. No. Explain it. To me. Sit on, sit on the chair around, and then okay. suddenly goes up. Ah, it okay. goes up mm, at, uh, higher at the top. Okay. The top, and then suddenly uh, down. Suddenly, okay. it yes. drops. Uh, drops. Yes, suddenly uh, drops. So okay. you got here seems, which is your verb, plus to plus infinitive, which is right. Now another thing to remember: if you're going to use to infinitive, the verb must always be in the base form, like what we have agreed or discussed last time. Now uh, before we move on, please give an example using the verbs given in your. Uh, copy. Okay, give you one example, please. We decide. Okay, decide. We decided. Okay, decided. Taking the exam. Now let's take a look at the, or let's take a look at your example. It says there, if you're going to use decide, mm -hmm. it must be followed by a to infinitive. But what happened here? So this is an ing, right? Uh, yes, so. So instead of using taking, we should use? To take. Yes, we decided to take. Let's say the IELTS exam. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to rewrite this now. We decided to take when? On 25th. Is that on uh, or in June? Yeah, right. Okay. In June. Okay, let's say 